I feel like a million bucks. I have had DBS surgery, and since then, I haven't had any problems I had before. DBS, or deep brain stimulation, is an implanted surgical device that allows us to control the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, and of dystonia. DBS therapy uses a medical device, much like a cardiac pacemaker, and thin, soft, flexible wires, called leads, completely inside the body. While the device is implanted beneath the skin in the chest, the leads are implanted within the brain. Electrical stimulation is then sent directly to targeted areas within the brain. Stimulation of these areas enables the brain circuits that control movement to function better. This results in a reduction of some symptoms in many patients. Cindy was a good candidate for deep brain stimulation because she'd had Parkinson's disease for years. Also, she had started to see early wearing off the medications and inconsistent response to the medications. You can see it in my hand right now. My hand's not working yet. This happens once in a while. The medication just decides not to work, and my frozen time lasts longer than my on time. It's how it's all cramped up. Like, the doctor will have me do this. I can do it with this hand fine, but this hand, it doesn't work. It's a sign that medicine's in between kicking on and off. And then when I finally kick in, they start another side effect, which is a lot of movement. My foot will go like this and it won't stop. The surgery is considered when medications don't seem to be working as well. There's your lifeline. It can be early in the process of the disease. It can be later. I've fallen down the stairs. I broke some ribs. It's a tough battle, but I'm trying to be strong with it. A bad day would be like it was this morning. I took my medication and it took almost two and a half to three hours to kick in for the first round. Today is a day that I really wouldn't want to go outside and drive or do anything. The initial surgery where both electrodes are placed takes a couple hours to do, is done on one day and you stay overnight, go home the next day. The surgery is done under local anesthesia. Uh, there's very little discomfort. So we're going to drill two small holes about the size of a dime. Through that, we'll pass this electrode, okay, so that will go down. We use this very thin metal plate, and it covers it up. It's titanium. And that stays in there. Though. That stays in there, yep, as do these wires. Right. And they're for life. The therapy will continue for as long as you need it. There's no pain receptors to the brain itself, mm -hmm. so it's not painful. It just has weird sensations. I'm going to be scared, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> no matter what, I'm going to do it. There is a second surgery about two weeks later, during which we implant the pacemaker. That's an outpatient surgery. People go home the same day. And that will go in where a pacemaker typically goes, just up underneath the clavicle. It takes about two weeks of healing after the last surgery before we can start turning on the electricity and tuning to control symptoms. This is due to the natural healing process and how it affects electrical stimulation in the body itself. All right, now we're going to the barber shop. How are you feeling? All right. During surgery, we need to be able to interact will passively move your arms and legs to confirm we're in the correct place. And uh, we will actually have you move your joints. Can you, tap, can you tap these toes up and down? Cool. I don't think I'll ever make it as a hairdresser. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Put her there. Yes, okay. thank you. Yep. We'll see you back in recovery room. All right. Can you let go of my arm and let's see how much you can do? There you go. You want to turn? Yep. Okay, here we go. I'm going to tell myself big steps. Big steps? Big steps. And when your med have been working in the past week, your feet are free to do what they want to do? Yes, when okay. they're working. When they're working. So the goal is going to be to get the DBS to uh, liberate your, your yes. feet here. Please. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, ready. here we go. This is just going to gradually increase the amount of currents mm -hmm. coming through the wire. Just let me know as soon as you start to feel anything good or bad, okay? Uh huh. Tightness in my back, in my leg. In your leg, okay. Yeah. Open and close here. Let me see your wrist. 
loosened up a lot. It's definitely looser. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. We start off with the voltage a little bit lower than kind of the maximum that your brain is happy with, just because we're going to want room to gradually sneak up to that voltage rather than starting from there right. from the get-go. So over the next several weeks, we'll be gradually raising the intensity of that stimulation to help improve the symptoms when your medicines have worn off. Here's the key now. Okay. Let's see how your walking goes. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Who wants to dance? <laughs> <laughs>